Welcome back to Chai Chat with Lavina. I am with the Ambuja family and they are so proud of the legacy. So let's talk to the future. Hey, Rinalmi, you are not in the business, you're studying. Please tell me more, a little bit more, uh, for the sake of, the, you told me, but for, for everyone else, and then I'm going to ask my question. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm studying at Vassar College right now in New York. Um, I'm a media studies major, so I'm studying media. Through, yeah, media. Oh, like, great. What you do? <laughs> <laughs> um, Very much. And then I'm also I have two minors, one in music composition and one in math. But generally, wow. I'm just very interested in you know in everything, and I have lots of things that I've tried and whatever, and I'm kind of just taking life as it comes. I'm very young, you know? <laughs> so I have a lot. No, no, I think I that's think. where that's where ideas come from, young. And uh, my daughter is uh, taking physics and maths, and you say, are you sure you're my daughter? Well, I, I am quite sure, but I'm quite not as well. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great combination, maths, music, and media. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, no, 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 just tell her she wants to be an astrophysicist and physicist. I can't even say it properly <laughs> first go. <laughs> uh, so fantastic. So tell me, when you uh, look at your mom, when you look at your, uh, your, your grandparent, um, oh, actually, do you give them advice as well? I mean, I don't know how much advice I give. <laughs> no, she does. She, says she does. So what is it that your grandfather has been saying that you have been, you have given him, which has been a nugget of I don't gem? Know. I have lots of what my friends have coined rindums. <laughs> 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 but I think that a lot of those come from them, actually. So yes. I'm just stealing whatever they say to me. Uh, but I think that that's, it's really true that, you know, I said this to mommy a few days ago. Um, I just looked at her. We were getting ready for something. I just looked at her and I said, you really are the daughter of your two parents. <laughs> like, you know, I can just, there's so many parts of you that I really just see Nana and Nani are uh, like completely in there and they were just carbon copy. Like, you're just the perfect combination of the two and you can very much see that in you. Um, and I think that there's so many things that I didn't even like always realize that, you know, that came from Nana, that mommy's always done. But as in like, you know, mommy's always worked at, while I was, you know, she's been a working mom. And um, it was always, you know, like a thing that whenever you come back, from school, um, always call, you know, just let me know you're back or whatever. So it was always just like a normal thing. And now also, every day I, I finish my day, mm -hmm. um, I'll always call her at the start of the day. Like, you know, once a day I'll call her, just to, you know, tell her, I'm, you know, I'm okay no matter where in the world <laughs> I am. And she'll always take my call, you know. And, and I asked her, how do you do that? You know, you're busy, you have meetings. Like, even if she's in a meeting, she'll step out of it. And she said, because my father always did that for me. And so, you know. That's I, what you do. Yeah. That's what you'll do the same. You will be a carbon copy of your parents. <laughs> Your children are going to say the same thing to you. Yeah, yeah. I right hope not. not. <laughs> what right is it? The hope not. What is it that you don't want to take from your mom and your dad? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Spill the beans. What is it I that you? I want to be a common copy of my grandparents. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> it always happens. Don't be sad. Because <laughs> they're the ones who spoil me. So. <laughs> Your mom is not supposed to spoil you. That's not her job. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> That's your job. It's not her job at all. It's not in them. Like my son says to me all the time, in my head I have rules for parents and I must not let you sit still. <laughs> so I said, I have some rules you don't want to know. So it's not in the rule book of the parent <laughs> to make you comfortable. But would you like to join the game? <laughs> I don't know, I think that I'll find uh, my own way of doing things and my own way of sort of being part of what, what, we, what we do because we, you know, we, as a family, we have a family office now and, and invest in <laughs> And she has her own asset. Oh, what do you do in your office, Mrinalini? <laughs> you compose music. <laughs> yes, I'm making a studio. No, but I'm just saying, like, I think that, you know, we have a very diverse portfolio with a lot of different companies and a lot of different things that, you know, we work on. And so I think that that's kind of just finding that place within that, you know, with, with things that I find interesting. Because I know that that's what mommy does. She's, you know, she'll go into a meeting and she'll say, this is so cool. Like, I really want to work with these people. And I'm like, okay, do it, you know. What part of the company you find cool and you want to work with? Foundation, company, anything, jo any uh, um, aspect of the social work? So I've worked with Salam Bombay a lot um, already. Uh, when I was, what, 12, um, I started this concert called uh, We, uh, We for Salam Bombay, which became, like, you know, it ran for about eight years. And the best concert of them. Uh, really? It was, uh, it was, you 
know, kids. So at twelve, you ran that concert. I started at twelve, yeah. Yes. And, you know, I did. He ran the concert. He does it. <laughs> Did COVID she did it till to the last yeah the last oh year. wow um, w- what is it tell so me so it was a big rock concert like with with you know music and everything and so you and have all the students are done there that I mean great. like so basically it was yeah. a, a chance for students to perform essentially to help other students yeah. so um, it was kids from private schools around Mumbai who would um, who would perform alongside you know the kids from the municipal schools that we were working with or that Salam Bombay works with um, and to Kind of help fund their arts program, um, so yeah, we've we've helped a lot of a lot of kids and we've raised a, you know a ton in the last. Tell me one that moment you. that uh, or, or some of the moment that touched you. You know, sometimes some people uh, touch you. For example, I went to the Ukraine border and just interaction with one lady changed my life. Completely changed that two minutes changed my life. So has there been any such? So, moment well, with Salam you. Bombay's grown up with me because I mean we were the same age. You know, we are literally just it's my twin. Um, we grew up together, so I've co- constantly seen all the work, and I've constantly been you know in the office and all like at, at different projects and all of this stuff. Um, and so I've gotten to know a lot of the the students that we've helped, and a lot of them are my age, and we're friends. You know, like you know that we talk, we're on, they're all oh, Instagram, they're all like, whatever. We we still are in touch. We I, I hear from them now and then, and they tell me give me updates about their lives and you know whatever and so it's that it's like you know the, the fact that I made a friendship and this bond with somebody who is from a very different background than me and I realized that I was just very privileged the only difference between the two of us like you know we both enjoyed the arts and we both were in school and we were both the same age but it was just that they were born into a very different family than I was mm. and that's kind of where the concert also came from and that was Basically, the the motivation behind all of it was just that, and I think there's nothing that it, all the relationships I've formed throughout that, whether they are with the people from the private schools that you know join me in in putting this up, or the kids that we helped out, they've all, you know that that's the thing that I feel like is unreplaceable. Oh, that's amazing! Mm-hmm. I'm quite impressed. How proud you are, and you are too, I, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely, and I am too. It's very impressive indeed. I think. You're going to melodiously and in a very uh, sing-song manner take this whole thing forward. <laughs> okay, bef- I'm going to ask you to sing, huh? So think oh what God. you're going to sing, uh, and in the meantime, in my last question, I'll ask you one thing, Padmini, that you want from your dad, wish you had, and one thing that you don't want. And I think. Go on, and, and you, you you tell me what she, she would say. I'm going to ask you the same question, so think. <laughs> I just think that Papa has an absolutely incredible intellectual capability of just being able to see things that people can't see. He can read a newspaper article and see an idea that nobody else, everyone reads that in the in the newspaper yeah. in the morning. Yeah. But that. what he takes away from it is completely <laughs> different. When he gets a spreadsheet of numbers, we've toiled on it for 15 hours. In 30 seconds, he'll tell you what number was wrong. I mean, <laughs> that, in, that, in, that in, innate intellectual capability is at such a different level. And he wears it so lightly because he thinks it's not a big deal. Everyone's smart, you know, kind of, you should be able to see this. Why can't you see this? It's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely incredible. So if I had to really hope for that, I would say that was something I would really want to have. And uh, that is something that I don't think in this lifetime. <laughs> but even has it, so maybe... Yes, I think the maths has gone there. Yeah. The maths has gone there. And what you don't want. Go on, spill a little bit. <laughs> I think definitely his impatience. <laughs> 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 but I have it. The problem is I have it. Uh, you know, that's yeah, does she have it? I think she's she's very <laughs> self aware though, like or you know, or has been very self aware about it. Like she's very aware that I she think her parents made her do that. We all Indian parents do that, by the way. <laughs> We make our children and us quite self-aware <laughs> of where we've gone wrong. But I, it's really funny also that didn't, wasn't there that whole thing about how you used to call Nana Chalo Chalo? All his friends got his friends got it. I didn't know what the exact story was. <laughs> <laughs> what, what chalo chalo no because he's so impatient that he goes into a store he'll go into a museum he'll go in anywhere he gets so like impatient after a point he'll say chalo chalo let's go jaldi karo, jaldi karo. So yeah. one of his close friends just jokingly says calls him chalo chalo, chalo, chalo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not that. I'm going to take back. <laughs> chalo, chalo. It's time for chalo, chalo. Are you getting too impatient? <laughs> Rinalni, yes. you, from your mom and your grandfather, one thing you want to take, one thing you don't want to take. I think the biggest thing I want to take is definitely their humility. I think that that's the yeah, biggest thing. Yeah, I think they are. Um, that's like, that, that's always a thing that I've always looked up to for both of them, like so much. I mean, there are a lot of things that I, I look up to them for, but that's like the biggest thing. It's always that, that you know, no matter what, like how successful you are and how awesome you are and how smart you are and whatever, you just have to, you know, be humble and how to make the people around you feel so good, like, and so special. And um, that's the biggest thing I think that I would take away from And that. don't and not. <laughs> I know, you know, I don't want their impatience either, but I'm also impatient. I think that we have a problem with impatience. Also, anger, I think. Like, yeah, impatience and anger, I think those two go together. I want the intellect, I don't want the emotions. I think we all have the same goal. We all want the intelligence, we don't want the emotions. We want Actually, you know, emotions can drive a mind to a different direction, uh, in powerful direction, but the mind has to prevail. That's why mind is over heart. Yeah. I think Bhagwan ne banaya hai dil yahan dimag yahan That's why they have the music for the emotions and the math for the intellect You have you have Shandles. a good combination you have a good combination huh So aap I, I hope you have thought about the song and before you leave chalo chalo ji <laughs> Can I ask you to give one nice little tip as we may say in a cliched manner as I my question is for people who unjini izzat chahiye aapki tarah i will say everything in life should be a win win a win win yeah. i agree never never try to get the best out of a bargain read something for the other man that is the win win so you want to be yeah both parties should win win okay gana ho jaye i have a dream a song to say to help me cope with anything if you see the wonder of a fairy tale you can take the future even if you fail i believe in angels Something good in everything I see. I believe in angels. When I know the time is right for me, I cross the stream. I have a dream. What a beautiful voice. Absolutely. And a trained voice at that. Uh -huh. Thank you so, so much. So that's the future. That's the future. Use the other recording. Use the recording from the other day. That's the future. <laughs> <That's the teacher. laughs> no, you're fine. You, that is inspiring. And we all have a dream. Yeah. And there are not many people who have a dream and then have the grit to make it come through. Yeah. This is one family who has done it. And I'm such... Uh, it's such an honor, it's such a privilege to be sitting with the three generation and mighty impressed with the last one <laughs> and the more to go. <laughs> At least impressed. <laughs> no, no, mighty impressed. And that was the Ambuja family and this is the story that continues. How did you like this episode? Please do write in to me on chai chat at ashtag.com or Twitter me at Levina Tandon. Thank you, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.